In this video, we're going to walk through how to create a Kami assignment in Schoology. Kami is a PDF annotator, and if you're using the integration with Schoology, you can create an assignment, and you can add a Kami document, a PDF document, to that assignment that the kids open with that tool, annotate it, add notes and comments, and then share it back to you. So we're going to get started by preparing our PDF to be sent out to students. So we have a PDF of an article, Three Fun Strategies for Note Taking. We've written on it using the drawing feature, like a question at the top. And we can also go through and add like comments to it. So if we want to create a voice comment, we can just click somewhere on the document. We can say, has there ever been a time where you felt like you were about to fall asleep in class and wish there was something a little more engaging to keep you occupied? And you could also add video comments within that document if you wanted to using your webcam. You can add text boxes, drawings, images, kind of prepare the document to get sent out. Okay. Once we have everything created in the document, it's ready to go. We're going to download with to our Google Drive with all annotations. Okay. And begin the export. All right. Now if we go back to Schoology, we can create our assignment. So once we have our instructions all set up, we're going to select Kami. That will open our Google Drive. And then we have it in our Kami uploads folder. And so we, here we have our annotated document. It will create a copy of this document for every student. You can select due dates, how many points it's worth, whether or not it's graded or ungraded. So you can actually grade these, track it straight to your Schoology gradebook, and those grades could track right to Powered Teacher if you have it set up. We're going to select ungraded for now, and we're going to create. Now when we open this assignment, we will see this option to be able to open the assignment with Kami, and the students will see this option as well. And so we're going to switch and look at what it looks like from a student's view. So now we switch to the student view in Schoology. So we're logged in as Jonathan, and we're going to go to our courses and find the course where the assignment was created. So here we see our three fun strategies for note taking. Click on that. And we see this option to open the assignment with Kami. Now this will only work if the students have been linked to the free or, or the, excuse me, the paid or trial version of Kami. So if you've um, entered an account as a teacher and you've gotten the student codes, your students would enter those codes to also be added to that trial. And hopefully we get to the uh, paid version soon. So we're going to open it with Kami. And sign in with Google. It's uploading the version to Jonathan's Kami like, folder in his Google Drive. We see the annotated version of the article that we created and then exported. And if we scroll down, we can also see this kind of audio comment that was created. And we could play that to listen to it. You could comment back to that. So if that's an audio question, um, they could type in a reply. This is voice typing that would be available to students if they wanted it in the paid version. All right, so the students can go in and annotate the document. Um, they can also add in text boxes if they'd rather like type instead of writing. Okay. And then once they've finished kind of annotating the document all the way through, they can turn it in. So it's just kind of asking them to confirm to turn it in. And it will export now their version of this document with their annotations back to Schoology. 
It's just double checking that we want to include this. They could also add additional comments with that import if they needed to and submit. So now it shows that the assignment has been submitted. There is an option to resubmit. So if they wanted to go back and try again, like add additional notes or something, they could do that. Okay. If we go to Google Drive, in the student account still, we can see that a folder has been created for Cami Schoology. And so when he opens this, he'll see this document that was created and submitted. So they can go back and access these documents that they've annotated at any time. Also see in Drive that there's this Cami Uploads. So anything that they bring into Cami kind of on their own would be uploaded into this folder. Okay. Because it was attached to a Schoology assignment, it was in the Cami, Cami Schoology folder. All right, once the assignment has been submitted by students, we'll be able to see that in our teacher screen. So now we're back in our teacher Schoology, clicked on the assignment, and we see that Jonathan Pickett has submitted the assignment. So if we click on that, we'll be able to see his document here with the annotations that were added. Okay. If we needed to download it, we could download it, but you can also take notes on that document, kind of feedback for the student right here, or you can add comments back to the student for the assignment. If this were a graded assignment, we'd see an option to add points and comments in this section, and then those would be tracked to the Schoology gradebook and potentially to the PowerSchool gradebook. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to your instructional coach.